Hey, it's Mike, the Angry Tech Guy. Uh, welcome to the episode that does not believe in bad ideas. There are only good ideas that go horribly wrong. Today I talk about being friends with the opposite sex. Guys being friends with girls, girls being friends with guys. Can you really actually just be friends? So first thing I want to tell you, I know it's been a long while since I uh, put up the video and it's because I work. I travel a lot. Like today I wanted to do this video before I left, but tomorrow I'm going to Inglewood, Colorado. I know it's snowing out there, so I wanted to do this before I got out of here, but I'm going to start doing them a lot more frequently. I'll be home a lot more frequently. Also, I'm going to be doing a podcast. So I, I have a lot of ladies that have signed up. Also, I need guys as well, guys with good opinions and who don't mind voicing their opinions. Make sure you message me, girls, ladies, uh, I need you guys too. So make sure you inbox me on that. But today I wanted to talk about being friends with the opposite sex, you know, being friends with opposite sex. And now let me make this distinguished. I mean, let, let me distinguish this. I'm not talking about being friends with people that you dated before had some type of uh, relationship with before that. It's a little different. That's a different dynamic. I'm talking about just simply being friends with people, guys with women and women with guys. Can you actually be friends with the opposite sex? So the first thing everyone's going to say is, oh, yeah, you can be friend with girl. Oh, yes, you can be friend with boy. And it's the first thing everybody's going to say. OK. And the one there's there's stuff that I want to tell. There, there's a difference. There's a difference for guys who have lady friends. And there's a difference for women who have guy friends. OK. So I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to put this out here um, from the get go. I've only had two female friends in my entire life just two that's it in my whole life one what i'm still friends with today the other one ended horribly so that, that puts it in perspective so we're going to do this so we're going to look at it from a woman's perspective okay and we're going to talk about ladies and guys but the dynamics are a little different for women all right so most women have guy friends that's just one of the things that happens most women find it much easier to talk with guys guys are much more open and more receptive to guys and the big reason is because women are competitive with each other you know women see each other as competition a lot of them do you know it's more of an arms right girl one buys a dress so girl two buys a dress and shoes girl two buys a dress and shoes so girl one goes back and gets this done you know it's just an arms race it gets to be competitive so it's difficult to truly you know trust and be friends with somebody that you're so heavily in competition with so i mean that's why a lot of women just find it easier just to be friends with guys now this is the question that i pose and this is where uh it, it starts getting confusing for a lot of people when they start trying to distinguish friends now most fairly attract you don't even have to be a beautiful woman but most fairly attractive women woman has you know several guys in their orbit that they would consider friends so if you ask a woman and this is you know, I always when I ask people and they, you know, I, I wait for the response. This is the thing I ask. Like, if you ask a woman how many guy friends she has and 95 percent of women are going to say, oh, I have tons. I have lots and lots and lots and lots of guy friends. Now, most women say that. And that is where they are wrong. Because the dynamic dynamic of friendship for guys and girls is completely different for them than it is for us. And this is what I mean by that. Now, take a girl. She's 
fairly attractive. I'm not even talking gorgeous. I'm just saying she's fairly attractive. The situation is going to be that the guy is going to be the girl's friend because the girl made the guy her friend. Do you understand? So the only reason that the guy is in the friend space in the first place is because the girl makes the guy the friend. Okay, and that's in nearly 99% of every male female friendship. Okay, especially if she's halfway decent, she's just attractive, kind of cute. You know, there the girl is gonna be the one that makes the guy the friend. That's the first thing that you know, women, although they have the power, they don't really think about. Now, the thing is, for guys, 99% of guys do not want to be friends with attractive women. Now, if it was up to them, the situation would be different. Okay, but most guys are going to be friends with the woman because she decides that she wants to be friends. Now, the point, the thing that uh, I want to point out is that guys are some guys will be patient and some guys will lay in wait now what does it hurt for this guy to wait for his turn you know to just simply wait yeah he may listen to what she's talking about and hear how this guy did that and all this stuff but you know the thing that i pose the question i pose to women who say they have so many guy friends and oh guys are all my friends you know you really don't you know, the biggest question I have to ask, if you gave that man, or it, it, not even gave him, if you walked up to him and told him, he was like, come on, let's go. You know, you would sleep with him right now. Would he not give up everything in that relationship and go right then? And that's really one of the, the, the biggest ways that I qualify, you know, a true friend. Because I've only had two friend, two female friends in my life and they were both fairly attractive and if that scenario played out the friendship and the stuff that we had you know beyond just physically being attracted to each other was more important than the physical portion of the relationship and that's that's how i can truthfully know that you know that they were friends I can't stress it enough, but guys do not want to be women's friends. And let me rephrase that. Attractive women's friends. If they have the opportunity, a guy would much rather have a different relationship. And I'm not even going to specify what type of relationship. I'm just going to say a different type of relationship. Guys will be friends with women that they don't feel are attractive. That's somebody that they are going to be willing to keep in that friendship space. But guys are less likely to have a female friend that is attractive or remotely attractive as a friend or want to be her friend. Now, a guy will do the things that friends do to remain in her orbit. He may be nice. He may listen to what she has to say. He may give advice just for that sole opportunity when she's down or they've just broken up. He can be the first one in there for his chance. So do I believe that men and women can be friends? Yes, I do. What I don't believe is that most men and women are friends. There's a big difference between the two. So let me know what you think in the comments. Again, I am going to be doing a podcast, so I need guys that would like to be on there. I also need ladies. Make sure you inbox me. You can hit me on the Twitter. That's what we call it these days. And as always, thanks a lot, guys.